Yo, what is up YouTube? So today we're going to run through another one of YAGPDB's CCs or custom commands. Today is going to be the embed builder. Instead of trying to build an embed through a custom command for each and every embed, what we're going to have is a way to run a command and build your embed through a command and not have to go back through and make like a separate command for each one. So this will work just, you know, it's, it's one command and you can make your embed through multiple fields. Uh, this gives you all the different fields and what you can fill it in with. It's super clean, super simple to start off with. You can probably find this, do a quick search in Google. I'll try to leave this into the description as well, but the YAG PDBs CC, when you come to this directory you'll be in the master don't go to tick well there was tickets but stay in master um, go to utilities and then go to send.go you'll get this and you'll know you're here because it'll say this is like the simple embed command except it's different if that's what it says you're in the right place what you're gonna do is go to your server in for the ag pdb so for me i'm just going to click this control panel let it load let's go to where is it it's probably not here cool so we'll go to here and then core custom commands you want to create a new one. I already have it. So I'm going to kind of go off this, but create a new one. And then from here, go ahead and go back to the GitHub for it. Copy all of this. Good old copy. Control C will let you copy the whole thing. Go back. Highlight all of this, control V, it's all in there. You can make this a little bit bigger if you want. Scroll back up, and this is basically telling you how to do things. And this will tell you kind of what the format is. The best thing to do is when you copy and paste this, um, this is the format of how to run the command. So I would actually just Highlight this real quick, make a copy of that. So control C it, go to your desktop, create a new text document, name it like embed uh, template or whatever. And then you can open that up, paste it in there. And you now have basically the fields more easily readable. Um, this is pretty clear what it says, example usage. So this right here, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can read this real quick. And then I'll, I'll go through it bit by bit. So this is going to be your prefix. So your prefix could be anything. It could be that. It could be this. It could be this. It could be that. Uh, whatever you honestly have it as. Mine is the money symbol. So it, that's mine. Um, so you change that to whatever it is. That's going to be how you start the command. From there, you then follow exactly what this says, like almost word for word. So you're going to do dash color. This is not the prefix. This is just an argument portion of it. So only use your prefix here. This is what it will stay as. This will not change. So you have dash color. You can pick your, I want to say it's hexadecimal uh, integer of the color. Um, and then, so that's, that's the, the color and you have your title, your title will be the main name of it. So if you want a visual example of what this looks like, I can go ahead and pull mine open here so you can see it. So you have title and this is going to be the title right here when I'm hovering over. So that is title. And then you have your description. Your description can be literally whatever you want. And for me, this is the, my description right here. This whole thing is my description. 
there's no dash there's no uh i want to say it's backslash n so there's there's no line break arguments this is straight up exactly what you see right here is exactly how i typed the dash description um i typed all of this in and then i made like a space or two or an indent or two and then i added my other extra stuff even with um, the markdown text and then it worked after your description you have the channel and i believe that's the channel it's going to go in fields this is pretty much pretty obvious your fields are kind of like multiple descriptions or multiple titles with descriptions so you can create multiple fields as you see through here you'll see uh how they implemented multiple fields so you'll see here there's a field and it's got a name field name and then if you look over here there's another field and then name two follow this as you need what i have here is actually basic it only uses the command the color the title the description and then i've even went and used the thumbnails i think it's a thumbnail where is it it's right here somewhere here we go thumbnail your author your footer your timestamp so i definitely use a thumbnail so it'd be dash thumb and then you put the link of what the image is you do an author one if you want and for footer you can do slash text add text in it or add an icon for it and put your icon image here and then you can just do task timestamp to give you a timestamp. And that's what I have right here. I have my footer and I have slash text. And for my text, I did mc-nova.net slash support. And then I did dash timestamp. And that gave me this cool thing. Yes, it also added the dot. We're going to go... I'm going to go back, open it back up, it's copy and pasted, and to set this up, you're going to do the trigger type as command, it is set to a command, the trigger will be an embed, awesome, embed, that's how you know what your prefix is, because it's a command which uses the prefix of whatever you have it set as, don't make it, cons don't do this, keep it like that. Unless you really want that, but that's up to you. And let's see, we're good to go. Okay, cool. So we'll save that. We can open up Discord now. And then we can pick a channel. So let's pick, pick this channel. We're gonna go into a bot channel for testing. And right off the bat, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and copy the ID first, okay? Then we're gonna start typing. So you're gonna do whatever your prefix is, embed command. Moving forward, you can do color. For color, I'm just gonna I'm gonna use a random number. I'm gonna do 17555550. Just to see what happens. So you can look online, use Google or whatever to figure out what color you're looking for. Title, this is title. Description, description. I do apologize if y'all can't see it. Um, here in about this time of the video, I'll go ahead and zoom it in so that you can see what I'm typing. So we have the description. We want to say this is some description and more words. I'm going to do a couple more spaces. Here is description after, I don't know, line breaking. That'll work. And then we could do... Down one, mark down two. Oh, where is it? Here we go. And then this, that, the other one. Is it this? It's one of these. I know it is. Ah, there we go. And then what's the next one? Channel. So we can do channel. And then we copy the ID. So let's paste that ID. You can do fields if you want. Dash name one. F1, 
slash value. I'm not really sure. I don't really care. Let's copy that instead. And we can do slash inline true. Do fields again. Slash name F2. Value again. Uh, field 2. And then let's see. Do, 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 inline. Inline. Let's do false. Just to change it up. Cool. We're not going to do more than that. What's after that? We can do thumbnail. Really want to. Dash author. Name. Author name. Do an icon if you want. Twitter. Some. Oh, nope. You need to add text. The text will be some footer text. After that, you can add an icon if you want. All you have to do is do slash and then icon and then you have to put the link. So https dot slash slash something dot com slash this dot jpeg. So that's what it would look like. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not going to use it because I don't really have any quick ones to use quite yet. So we're down at footer. Next we have timestamp, time stamp. And we press enter. So as you can see here, this was the command I ran. And this is what it inputted. So I made two of them. This is a command I'm teaching you guys. This is the one I have. So, because I've already taught you guys the embed, if I were to remove the one I taught you, since I already have it, and I were to go back, and I were to give it a test shot, it would just send one. So that's how you do that. Now, there's not really much else. That's pretty simple. Hopefully this helps you guys. I do apologize if it was a little longer than it needed to be. It's that simple. Have fun with it. Um, if you use any type of emojis, Make sure that you give it what it requires. So if it's a vanilla emoji, eh, just put the name. If it's a custom emoji, then you're going to want the name and then the ID. I think that's right. Name ID. I think so. Yeah, name ID. Want the animated one. I believe it is animated name ID. And you include that and it will work. Uh, I already told you how to do photos. You just include the link. Pretty simple. Uh, watch your spacings. There's a space there. Space here. So watch your spacing. Um, that's important. You can do it again. Oh no, I forgot markdowns. Add your markdowns. Send it. Always be careful of your spacing because I know when I did this, I had an issue, which is it shows that that's not what we want. So, watch the space, send it cool. Hopefully, this was quick and easy for you guys. If you have questions, ask them in the comments below. I answer pretty quickly. If you have questions and you don't want to use YouTube to ask, then go to uh, either Discord down in the description below. I have my gaming network one, and I will have my uh, public one, which is just for my YouTube videos and stuff, and to chit chat and to ask questions. Uh, I answer pretty quick, and I'm pretty helpful. So do that. If this was also helpful, then like and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for keeping track of more. Alrighty guys, I will leave you to it. Have fun with this awesome little command and I will be releasing the next fun little video here shortly. See y'all next time.